We begin with the Trailblazers and Heat from Miami. Both teams were missing all stars as Dwayne Wade sat out with an ankle injury and knee soreness. LaMarcus Aldridge missed his sixth consecutive game with a back contusion and both teams were desperate for a win. The Heat had lost seven of 11. The Blazers had dropped six of nine. So we're off to the AAA in MIA on Chris Bosh's 30th birthday and also a reunion game as we flash back to draft night 2007 with the first pick in the 2007 NBA draft, the Portland Trailblazers select Greg Oden from Ohio State University. So we flash back once again as you see Greg Oden with a great photo op there with former commissioner David Stern flashing back to December 28th earlier this year. Chris Bosh with the three with five tenths of a second left and it would hold up as the game winner. Miami winning it 108 107. You got to love that reaction. No question about it when the king is there for you. Then the king says you know what let me get this thing started off right tonight with a jam. Talked about both of these teams struggling Miami wanting to set the tempo in this game defensively they were very active early on you see Greg Oden getting a dunk at the beginning part of this game so heat off to a very good start. Oden four points three rebounds in his first game against his former team Damian Lillard gets up high and then he does it again. No question about it. great pass but keeping your dribble alive and getting down the paint. Mm. Let's remind people he's in the dunk contest now. Had some nice mashes in the dunk contest in New Orleans. Mo Williams for three. Bones, he had 17 off the Blazer bench. We talked about how the Blazers in this game needed to get production off the bench. They did, but would their starters be enough as LeBron James goes just up top on Nicholas Batum, oh, oh, oh. turning it over reverse. Oh, very nice. And then it's Tony Douglas's turn to lob to the king. Yes, Nicholas Batum's like, where is that? Oh, he's up there. There he goes. LeBron James now driving gets fouled and on his way back to the bench coach Spo has a message for him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love it. It's been a frustrating couple of weeks for the heat. You take it. You take it. No I'll take it. Chris Bosh bang knocks down the three has not been shooting it well knocks that one down was two of three in the game and then LeBron you see him working on the post. Look at all the opportunity he has there 3D. That's where he sees Odin. And Odin does the right thing. His man leaves him. He goes to the basket for the easy dunk. He were up 59 48 and then Damian Lillard. Clang three of 15 from the field. He did have 19 points but uh, Portland trailed by 17 and they were on the comeback trail eventually. Eventually but you look at Matthews and Lillard they were four of 19 from three ball land. Chris Anderson had a double double off the bench 13 and 11 heat up 12 Wesley Matthews brings the Blazers within five. Yeah unable to just I guess stomp them out tonight Portland coming back 11 of 39 from three but they made timely ones late here you'll see Nicholas Batum this is a tough tough three but that one puts them within two under a minute to go. Batum had a double double Mo Williams now. Creates the turnover against Norris Cole. Cole called for a foul on Mo, who went to the line. Splash, splash, 91 apiece, setting up the King. King doing what he does best, get to the basket. A little switch there. Robin Lopez shows up, but not enough. Portland had two timeouts. They didn't take either of them, and Chris Bosch blocks it to win the game for Miami. Uh, great recovery. Chris Bosch seeing the penetration, coming over for the help, and I think that ring finger, he might have got the last knuckle of that ring finger on there for a block, but that is just enough and two points does it for the heat against the struggling Portland Trailblazer team. Good thing Bosch didn't uh, celebrate his birthday with a manicure. The heat <laughs> sweep the season series with the Blazers and move to 48 and 21. Miami is 12 and 7 without D Wade. Portland meanwhile has lost 8 of their last 12 overall in 12 of the last 16 on the road dropping them to 45 and 26. Bosch was kind enough to join us after the win. Talk about the defensive play at the end of the game. What did you see as Damian Lillard was driving towards that hoop? Well, I mean, um, it kind of we, we kind of figured that they were going to go and use the whole court to their advantage to kind of get an uh, open shot. Um, we know we've seen before that Damian Lillard, he's uh, he's had some big time shots, especially from the three. And, um, you know, Norris did a great job running them off, and I just wanted to be there to help him out. You know Chris I'd ask you uh, two things in that instance you know thinking about if Portland calls a timeout uh, first of all would Spo usually make a substitution there to try to get Chris in the game that's part one 
and then more on the grand scale for the game. How much different to, to see a Portland team without LaMarcus Aldridge for you, where you've had big games against them, it was Darrell Wright. How does that change the way you play against them? Well, I mean, you know, they spread the floor a lot more, uh, more so uh, to, to the three-point line with Darrell Wright, and I kind of knew that. I wanted to be aggressive and post up early, but they were doubling, so I just tried to hit my teammates with easy uh, open plays. Uh, but for the most part, you know, um, LaMarcus Aldridge is an all-star and a superstar, and, you know, you can't replace what he does for that team. I mean, um, his inside-outside game is uh, phenomenal, but even without LaMarcus, they're still a very good team, and they, they moved us around, and they made us work tonight. Well, first of all, my Georgia Tech brother, happy birth, 30th birthday. Hope you had a fun last night at your party. I did. Thank you. <laughs> and secondly, <laughs> secondly, so much has been made the last couple of years. You playing center, you win championships. Now you have Greg Oden. How did you feel getting back to your natural power four position tonight? It's, it's, it's cool, man. I mean, you know, I'm just, um, I've been at the center position so long, I'm, I feel myself having to get reacclimated back to that four, especially in a, a spread offense like uh, like the type we run. And, you know, I just want to kind of be a threat from the three-point line this year. Uh, so I'm still kind of really feeling my way, trying to work into it, um, reading closeouts, making the right moves, sometimes getting cuts. And, you know, it's going to take a, a, a while, but hopefully um, I can get my arms around it and, and really uh, make it happen and play as good as I can for this team. Chris, coming into this game, your head coach, Eric Spolstra, said, quote, our locker room is angry, end quote. How about after this win tonight? Uh, still angry. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, we, we, we know what's ahead of us. Our next game is a big game. Um, I think there's no doubt about that. Uh, we've been wanting to improve. Um, we've kind of taken some steps back in this last couple of weeks, but, you know, nobody said it was going to be easy. So um, we're just going to have to make best with what we have and go into in Indiana and try to take one. Chris, how much is talked about in your locker room that obviously you're trying to go to the four straight finals, that these are the dog days where you have to dig a little deeper and only you know how uh, deep you have to go because you know you want to go back to the finals? Well, it's kind of funny. It's kind of that digging feeling is – feels like the playoffs already you know um trying to get out of these dog days i mean we're playing every other day with the exception of back-to-backs um things aren't going that well for us uh jumpers layups that we usually make they're rimming out but that's a time when we really have to dig deep like you say and really put more of an effort into our defensive end and i think we took a, a big step tonight Hey, Chris, you've been great to us over the years, kind with your time, and you're very honest with your answers. So for all of us here from NBA TV, happy 30th birthday. Enjoy it, and good luck against Indiana on Wednesday night. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> and Chris Bosch is right. Uh, if Miami can beat Indiana Wednesday night on ESPN, the separation would be one game atop the Eastern Conference. Uh, many of you watched this game Monday night on NBA TV. It was a thriller. Break down the final sequence. Well, it's one of these things where if you take better care of the basketball, Portland, maybe you're not in this situation, but now you give Miami to prove why they're the champs. You put the ball in LeBron James' hand. In the possession before that, they're in a 1-2-2 two, two zone. So now Coach Post said, we're going to run the same play, but the action you see here by running Ray Allen through there, he pulls a guy with him. Mario Chalmers sets a, a good screen, just enough to get Damian off his foundation. Now there's no way Robin Lopez can stay in front of LeBron James. A nice little head, a hedge there. He goes by him and lays him in with the left hand. And the biggest problem is Robin Lopez as a big steps up and you never want to do that as a center. And after the play 3D, no timeout for Portland. No defensive substitution allowed for Miami at this point. Terry Stotts trusting that Damian Lillard's going to find his way to his to the basket. He does just that, but Chris Bosh, look at his attention over there. Ray Allen is cracking back into Lopez, getting himself in rebound position. He pushes him away. Ray makes one of the bigger plays mm -hmm. in the game to not let Lopez get to it, and Portland does not come up with the shot that they need in order to tie it up. So lots going on in that possession. But for Miami, kind of sigh of relief. Let's move on. This is a process to get back to where it is we need to play and where we know we need to be come playoff time. What's your reaction to Chris, ba Chris Bosch saying the locker room is still angry even after a thrilling victory like this? It's coming from a guy that's gone to the finals three straight years, and to his point, they know how hard it is to get there. So to hear him say that the playoffs kind of feel like now, you understand how hard it is to get there. And, Bones, you know that. So now they're trying to get that focus. We say championship focus. So slowly but surely, maybe you just tonight to get that back going.
whatever that is in his stomach, that's a good thing because <coughs> championship teams have that. Other teams get to this point in the season and they're not drawing on anything. Mm -hmm. This team is drawing on his, ex his experience to try and get that number one seed, which we kind of felt was Indiana's. Right. Until maybe tonight. <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> right. Wednesday night is going to have a lot to say about who wins the East in the regular season.